Hello, welcome to Phantom Studios where all the X Factor magic happens. That's my dressing room just there. Knock, knock. He's not in here, but this is Dermot's dressing room. As you can see, Dermot has lots of reading materials. He's very cerebral. There's all his suits and his shirts. Um, so there you have it. This is Simon's dressing room. He's probably having power meetings inside. He's pimped it all out. He's had to interview design him in there. It's all very lovely. This is the studio. There's rehearsals at the moment, so I have to be quiet. Dermot is obviously um, rehearsing with stand-ins. Oh, I understand. Take a look. And there's stand-ins for the judges. Up there, if you look, that's our studio, the goldfish bowl at the back. How are you, Harry? I'm good, how are you? You even look handsome upside down. Harry even looks handsome upside down. The rest of the boys, they all look handsome from all angles. Just for those of you that don't know, Dermot doesn't make up all the stuff that comes out of his head. He actually reads it off an autocue. Does Dermot fluff his lines much, may I ask? No, he's quite good. He's very good, he's very professional. But you have to be on it as well, to move all the words in the right order at the right time. Very important job. Anyway, I'll let you carry on with this. Nice to see you. There we go, so that's autocue, where they type in all the words from the script. This is a handsome dancer. They're all over the shop, these handsome dancers. Chef! Baby! See, she has got a necklace that says fear, but I've got a necklace. Oh, I did have a necklace that said believe, and you just made me take it off. Believe, fear. Believe. No. Hello. Knit, knit. Right, come on. We're going to go to hair and makeup now. Adam Reed, celebrity hairdresser to the stars. She's such a good dress. Everywhere you look, there's like dead. And it's real hair that's used in all the extensions. Is that correct, That's Adam? absolutely true. It's all real And hair. how much does all these real hair extensions cost? We've used £5,000 worth of hair so far. We've used nearly... <laughs> we've used nearly 1,000 metres of You could wet. buy a car with that money. So who's the most easy person to work with? Easy has to be... Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca. Oh, I see. oh, yeah, you, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah me. Um, and One Direction are very easy. Um, yeah, well, that's because they're boys. They're boys, but they've all got their own style. They've all got quite an individual Dermot's style. Dermot's the easiest like... to do hair-wise, because you don't have to do anything. Dermot's easy because he's so handsome. He's a very handsome man. If he grew his hair long, it would be an Afro fact. Right, in here... There's lots of people that are naked, not really. There's lovely Grace, and then there's... Oh, there actually is a bit of Rebecca getting changed, so we won't look in there, but that's where people get dressed. Zane's wearing glasses lots lately. What's all this new glasses thing about? I like it. It makes you look very intelligent. Really? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only thing. It's the only thing. Right, we're out of here. Sorry. X-rated. No nudity. Then, over here is dressing room corridor. That's Danny's dressing room. None of the judges are in yet. They just lounge about, wake up really late, and then waltz in to show us dressing room. We're going to go to the gallery now. Yeah, so this is all where TV rooms are with screens and buttons and controls. Look, there's production control. Why do you want to have a little bit? There we are. is where the director sits and the producer and they shout things and dumb that's earpiece. There's the lovely Rebecca Ferguson. Always a picture of beauty, demureness, sophistication. And there we go, my dressing room. Later, see you, bye.